time that we're premiering this episode because this is the time that uh, there are a lot of graduates who are about to start applying for jobs if they haven't already right so this episode is really supposed to help guide them okay to know and understand what are the red flags they should look out for when they are applying for for jobs okay and um at kusi consultant so when we do recruitment we actually don't charge upfront fees okay. and that's one of the things that you mentioned yes. so something to be mindful about right yes Juanita, have you experienced any on the job any not on the job but during your your um Searching. Yeah. Have you experienced any scams? Well, yeah, I have. I remember right after um, university, like she said, the unemployment rate is so high. Exactly. So as a young um, person who just turned out from university, I was looking for opportunities because obviously most of the times where you do your service don't even consider hiring you after yep so this is a young girl who was looking forward to working yeah so i went through a lot of job sites and just like she said i'm sure sometimes they pick up that information from those sites so on this fateful day i got this message that i have been accepted not even for an interview i have been accepted outrightly but by then i didn't know all this okay. so i decided to what, pursue it so i i, I followed up on the uh, message i followed up so i called the number and then there was this gentleman that picked and asked me to 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 pay i think wow. by then it was a hundred series okay. yeah so he asked me to pay and then guess what it was to a mobile money account <laughs> This is ridiculous. Wow. <laughs> exactly. Wow. But then I was I was very vulnerable, you yeah, know. I was course. desperate. So I'm wow. like, okay, let me just follow this lead perhaps, just perhaps. And then I wasn't opportune to know all these things. So I mean, long story short, I was scammed. Wow. wow. Yeah. And wow. then also another thing to look out for is usually they promise you you have the role. But then you, so you hadn't even. I haven't even met anyone. the employer, no. Yeah, so I think that that <laughs> just sounds a bit funny. If exactly, you're this, exactly. Sure you already know, you know. But you mentioned something that I think is really important. When you are at that vulnerable stage in your life, yeah, you don't you're just consider. Out of school, yeah. How do you know how to tell if somebody's trying to scam you for for a job? So let's talk about some of the red flags. What obviously you want to make sure that you know the organization that's behind the the role right mm -hmm. so research what else can we talk about what advice can we give recent graduates and job seekers so that they don't fall victim to to being scammed so to add up to what i was saying i think the organization appeared legit i i i i, I might not mention the name of okay. the organization yeah but then it's a well-known organization so i think wow. for now they are more sophisticated they don't even care as to i remember recently there's this um job opening offer that has been circulating and it's it's gasm okay gasm as we know it's it's a credible institution so you'd be tempted to what as if you use the gmail, the gmail account, account, like a personal account like a personal you know, that's a bit funny that's a bit funny okay. and then secondly um some like she said they're very sophisticated they would provide phone numbers you would actually call and all of that at that point, it's, it's not easy to detect. Exactly. The time you, you start, you, the red flag starts hitting you is when they send you documentations through email. Like, okay, uh, we're sending you our interview document. Okay. So fill out your role, then they will ask you a question. Or tell us a little bit about yourself, your skills, blah, blah, blah. So they'll tell you it's a form of interview. Okay. And so when you fill it out, then immediately they respond. Like some two, three days later, oh, we are happy, we congratulate you, <laughs> you've been hired, you know, things like that. There is no genuine company that does that kind of interview. Exactly. There are two interviews, or actually three. It's either a physical one-on-one, -on -one, and you get a proper invitation, number two. You could do a voice, um, a phone call interview. Exactly. But then that is 
with a promise that after you pass that, they you will have an in person. You actually. have an in person, okay. and then you can do a video uh, interview. I had a, uh, there was a time I had a video interview with Sahara Oil, you know, and so you would have a link. There, there's so many things that go into it's a process. It's a process. It's so a someone process. just providing you one email and not putting other people in copy it's not or enough. links. It's, it's not enough. No, those those are just very fake. There's a process. So it's a process. And I think people need to be more mindful, especially because of this digital age. Exactly. Right? So yes. we we leverage technology to do a lot of our recruitment. But like you mentioned, it's a process, right? So once the candidates have been shortlisted, then we call them to have an over the phone interview. If they are within our area, then we meet with them, and we actually meet with them in person. We discuss what the benefits, what the role, um, the job, uh, what do you call it, the job description, what all the benefits that the role comes with, right? And then, so, but if the candidate is not in the area, then we do a video conference call. So you still get to see the face the of the panel. Exactly, so you get all this information, you know. So, so far we've discussed being mindful, right? And another thing too is, there's your gut feeling will never lie to you. I've been a victim of a scam. It wasn't employment, but if it doesn't feel right, right, and if you have any doubts, yeah, you get a bit excited because you need a job, you need to work. But at the end of the day, if you're gonna lose money and just the organization that you are looking to work with, absolutely, you know, I want to you a, 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 go a, right a, ahead, a, an please. example sure. because that is what is really prevalent now is um, people willing to travel. Yes. So you, you get people who would approach you through LinkedIn, through all these uh, official sites. And um, okay, my example, uh, my, the scam I went through, even though I actually didn't notice it was a scam, um, they would approach you and then uh, send you uh, interview documentations and all of that. And so, right off the back, oh, we're going to pay you 10,000 US dollars. They will give you really a really juicy <laughs> salary. Good. You know, a driver, chauffeur, whatever. And this was by Sinopec, one of the biggest oil and gas companies in the world in China. And then, uh, yeah. yes. Okay. And to. So, go, go, ahead. To no, go ahead. And then we'll okay, to add up to that. the first part, okay. which is on the part of the employee. Usually, they bring out this ridiculous job description. Mm. And then you can't even marry that with the um, salary. Really? It doesn't make sense. Yeah, outrageous salary. And then there's this ridiculous job description. Like, it's vague. Okay. You, don't, you, don't, you don't even know what exactly. Wow. So the, yeah. the job description. Exactly. Gives it, it gives wow. it away. Yeah, again, it's that gut feeling, right? If the job even looks or sounds funny, then. Yeah. Yep. You have every right as a job seeker to question. As I always say, ask questions and do research. Absolutely. You know, you can you can definitely make that happen. We are going to take a short break and we'll be right back. When we come back, we have a, a different side to discuss of this whole job scam situation. We'll be right back. Hotel East Legon, where every stay is unique. Welcome to Adans. 
Transit Travels product knowledge series. And I'm excited to talk to you about our FIT tour service, where you get the opportunity to customize the product to your taste. And with that, we take your details, your destination you want to go, the date you want to travel. We're able to do it to suit your budget. So you don't need to worry about breaking the bank when you are traveling with this kind of service. You can visit us as the details are on the screen, as you see, or you can call us on the number showing on the screen. Let's plan your trip for you. And you know, with Adansi, we always let you feel the beauty of life. Adansi Travel feels life's beauty. Welcome back. You have joined us today for another episode of 30 Minutes with HR, your premier human resource show for employers and employees. We're having such a great conversation. We've already touched up on job scams. Now we are getting into red flags. What do we mean by red flags? And this is actually more of what the employer should look out for. Yeah, so let's, let's go right in. Okay. Um, of course, every company wants to hire good people. Exactly. It's such a waste of effort and resource to always have to recruit because you're not able to get the right people. And getting the right people is also a process. And um, there are some few red flags you want. Number one, uh, if you're doing an interview for uh, looking to recruit some applicants during the interview process, an applicant should be able to look you in the eye. That's always the number one. Number one. The eye contact. The eye contact. Maintain eye contact because then it shows confidence. Exactly. And you can deliver. Confidence basically drives everything. Mm -hmm. Once the confidence level is off, trust me, the person cannot perform. They have something. Do you know SQL? Yes. Okay, tell us about SQL. I'm an expert in X SQL. Tell us about that. Um. Uh, but yeah, it's on the CV. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the CV. We get it all you the know, time. And the people doing the interview, they are so tired, disconnected that they actually really don't go through don't pick it up. the CV. Yes. So it's easy to just lose track. So if you're able to just pinpoint something, okay, you said you're an expert in this. Explain this to me. And the person is not able to tell you because some people they're smart they try to go around it or maybe they've read on it and they've forgotten so number two the person should be able to technically describe what they claim they know exactly number three is um uh what else you should have a question if after i'm done with you and you don't have any question for me that tells me you are you're not proactive that tells me that you will cut corners to achieve uh, your goal. Okay. okay, your goal, not the company's goal. Your goal is let me just do whatever. Exactly. You, 